अभी हम देखते हैं कि इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड जो है उसका बेसिस क्या है क्यों इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड एग्जिस्ट करता है इससे पहले वी वर स्टडिंग यू नो जिस दी इंट्रोडक्शन फॉर इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड व्हाट इट इज एंड यू नो हाउ इट हैज इवॉल्व ओवर द इयर्स वी वर बेसिकली लुकिंग एट दी हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड टूडे इन दिस लेसन वी गोइंग टू सी वाई इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड एग्जिस्ट एंड वॉट इज द बेसिस फॉर इट क्यों ये है क्यों हुआ और वाई इट इज समथिंग दैट्स वेरी वेरी यू नो क्रूशियल फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस वाई डिज इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड एग्जिस्ट तो पहला पॉइंट इसमें ये है कि और जो सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट है वेन यू आर स्टडिंग इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड वेन यू आर स्टडिंग हाउ द यू नो मूवमेंट ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज हैपन्स अक्रॉस कंट्रीज और हाउ द डिरेक्शन ऑफ ट्रेड मतलब क्या है उसका पैटर्न वॉट इज द पैटर्न ऑफ डिरेक्शन ऑफ ट्रेड तो एक बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट टर्म आती है एंड दैट इज कॉल स्पेशलाइजेशन स्पेशलाइजेशन इज समथिंग दैट वि uh you know probably discussed in previous videos in previous chapters but as a recapitulation specialization basically ye hota hai ki uh jab uh, you know when each country is producing what it produces best or each region is producing what it what it's doing what it does best that's called specialization matlab agar kahin pe uh you know agricultural डिवेलपमेंट uh, ज्यादा हो रहा है क्योंकि दैट रीजन इज फर्टाइल या कहीं और सिमिलरली कहीं पे इंडस्ट्रियल डिवेलपमेंट ज्यादा हो रहा है बिकॉज इट हैज यू नो अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग मिनरल रिसोर्स बेस एंड दीज दीज रीजन्स आर ट्रेडिंग अमंग दिमसेल्व दीज रीजन आर ट्रेडिंग इन एग्रीकल्चरल गुड्स एंड इन फिनिश्ड इंडस्ट्रियल मैन्युफैक्चर गुड्स तब उसको कहते हैं मतलब जब जब हर एक जगह हर एक रीजन एक अब वो काम सबसे बेस्ट करता है द वन थिंग दैट इट कैन डू बेस्ट एंड इट्स डूइंग इट दैट्स कॉल्ड स्पेशलाइजेशन और जब ये स्पेशलाइजेशन होता है लाइक व्हेन दिस दिस रीजन ए इज प्रोड्यूसिंग यू नो वेरी वेरी हेफ्टी अमाउंट्स ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल गुड्स इन दिस रीजन बी इज वेरी गुड एट manufacturing stuff and when they are trading amongst themselves that's that's when uh, we say ki specialization has led to uh, trade and specialization is when we talk about it it is the basis for international trade because it happens because countries are uh, producing in bulk amounts what it what they are uh, you know best at producing and that is why these these uh, products these produced commodities get traded Uh, internationally get the, these countries trade amongst themselves and that is the basis for international trade so that's our first point specialization in production so this is like abbreviated production uh, leads to trade right also then we talk about division of labor in production of goods or provision of services तो जब स्पेशलाइजेशन की बात करते हैं जब हम कहते हैं कि ओके फाइन सो एवरी एवरी रीजन और एवरी कंट्री शुड बी प्रोड्यूसिंग व्हाट इट प्रोड्यूस बेस्ट और इट शुड बी डूइंग व्हाट इट डज बेस्ट देन कम्स द यू नो कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डिवीजन ऑफ लेबर मतलब सो सो यू नो यू असाइन डिफरेंट लेवल्स ऑफ वर्क यू सी हाउ स्किल्ड और अनस्किल्ड और सेमाई स्किल्ड अ पर्सन इज एंड देन यू यू नो Uh, give them a certain sort of capital and a certain uh, level of uh, technology and then they work with it and this is how you divide labor and this is how you provide services right so uh, there's the concept of division of labor and uh, when we talk about production of goods because ek production ke liye ek kisi bhi cheez ki production ke liye uh, you at the at the you know at the higher levels you need someone who's uh very very smart and very very intelligent and someone who's highly skilled you require a certain level of highly skilled workers and then uh for at the base level you need uh, probably for uh, menial jobs you need people who uh can be uh, you know semi skilled or unskilled laborers right to usko hum kehte hain division of labor तो ये जब हम स्पेशलाइजेशन का बात करते हैं जब हम प्रोडक्शन का बात करते हैं तो डिवीजन ऑफ लेबर का भी कॉन्सेप्ट आता है 
नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड इज बेस्ड ऑन कंपेरेटिव एडवांटेज कॉम्प्लीमेंट्रिटी एंड ट्रांसफरेबिलिटी तो हम दीज दीज आर सर्टन की वर्ड्स इन दिस सेगमेंट एंड वो सो बेसिकली डिस्कसिंग वो दीज की वर्ड्स मीन एंड हाउ हाउ दीज की वर्ड डिफाइन वाई इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड इज इंपॉर्टेंट सबसे पहले देखते हैं कंपेरेटिव एडवांटेज तो कंपेरेटिव एडवांटेज वो होता है कि व्हेन यू नो व्हेन वन कंट्री इज प्रोड्यूसिंग समथिंग एंड इट्स रियली गुड एट प्रोड्यूसिंग दैट थिंग व्हिच इट इज प्रोड्यूसिंग एंड व्हेन इट्स व्हेन इट्स ट्रेडिंग ऑन एन इंटरनेशनल प्लेटफॉर्म इट हैज समथिंग कॉल्ड कंपेरेटिव एडवांटेज बिकॉज इट्स गुड एट इट एंड इट्स मेकिंग यूज ऑफ इट इट्स इट्स यू नो मेकिंग मनी the country is making money for itself and for its uh, labor labor force for its people for the citizens of the country who are uh, you know engaged in the production activity aur jo hai so so it it has a comparative advantage uh, against countries which are not doing it against countries who are not uh, specializing in anything or who are not uh, participating in international trade right so that's one देन वी हैव कॉम्प्लीमेंटेरिटी तो इसका मतलब यह है कि सो वेन दर स्पेशलाइजेशन वेन वेन वी टॉक अबाउट कि हर हर जगह को हर रीजन को हर कंट्री को यू नो वो चीज प्रोड्यूस करनी चाहिए जो वो अच्छा प्रोड्यूस कर सकती है जिसका उसके पास यू नो जो प्रोड्यूस करने के लिए उसके पास परफेक्ट इन्ग्रीडियंट्स है जो प्रोड्यूस करने के लिए उसके पास परफेक्ट रॉ मटीरियल्स है और उसी तरह का लेबर uh, फोर्स है उसी उसी तरह की टेक्नोलॉजी है एंड इफ एवरी कंट्री डज दैट देन एट द वर्ल्ड लेवल एट द इंटरनेशनल लेवल वी हैव द प्रोडक्शन दैट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम ईच पर्टिकुलर रीजन और ईच पर्टिकुलर कंट्री दैट दैट प्रोडक्शन लीड्स टू अ सर्टन सॉर्ट ऑफ कॉम्प्लीमेंटेरिटी मतलब uh so when there is international trade and when uh, one country is not able to produce something on its own because of this international trade ab wo wo khud ab uske country let's say ek country mein koi particular cheez produce karne ke liye uh, raw materials nahi hai ya waisi technology nahi hai to ye country kya kar sakti hai since international trade jo hai wo exist karti hai since it's an open economy to uh so this country can now buy that thing in the world market or it can buy technology for producing that thing in the world market because there is international trade and so when we talk about international trade there is this uh, you know concept of uh, open and closed economies so only open economies participate in international trade and closed economies do not because uh, because when we when we study when we go into the you know economics of this thing we we see that jo uh, closed economies hai wo rest of the world ko ek sector consider nahi karti hai and jo open economies hai they they consider the rest of the world as something that they can trade with something that they can you know get money from by doing something or the other so in open economies uh, this this uh, this uh, foreign sector or this rest of the world sector has an importance right so uh let me write that down when we talk about international trade we uh you know we consider whether an economy is uh open or it's closed so open economy is in closed economy so this is something that has uh relevance in international trade only open economies participate in uh international trade and closed economies do not Uh, anyway, coming back to uh, what we were discussing, complementarity. So, uh, so when when uh, when countries are trading on an international platform, it basically complements where uh, you know where any country lags behind because that can country can now uh, purchase whatever it is not able to produce in the world market. so it complements the F, the the all the countries complement the efforts of each other right and they they are able to do that because of international trade and then there's transferability transferability of goods and services goods and services get you know uh, get transferred from raw materials to uh, finished products and then they get 
sold in the market and this transferability is important or it's relevant in the uh, international platform because that's that's where trade is happening between countries right so this transferability is basically of goods and services the next point is uh, international trade is mutually beneficial to trading partners in principle so at least in principle uh, international trade jo hai wo dono uh, parties ko jo dono parties hai involved us trade mein dono parties ko mutually benefit karta hai it's not like one country uh, involved in the you know trade is uh, being benefited and the other is not it's it's not uh, it doesn't happen like that so when when two countries are involved in a bilateral trade or when a country is involved in multilateral trade it's doing it only because each country is doing it only because it's beneficial to itself as well it's it's, it's never uh, like at least uh, in theory it's never the case ki uh, ek country jisko trade karne se nuksan hoga wo uh, trade mein involved hoga right but that's just in principle if we actually analyze the all the world economies and you know the uh, the trading patterns of world economies and how much it has helped those economies uh, we might see something that's contradictory we might see that not every country wants to trade internationally or wants to have an open economy but then they are uh, bound to do so because of uh, certain factors here and there but that's that's not what we're concerned with what we're concerned with is just the theoretical aspect of it which says ki it's uh, trade is supposed to be beneficial to both the trading partners also international trade benefits the world economy so when uh, when there's a uh, international trade it means that there's uh, there's a trade always leads to like what trade trade is basically export and import of goods and that always leads to uh, you know generation of income that that always creates money in some form or the other and that makes the uh, you know it makes the entire world economy better off it makes each country or people of country better off right so international trade is beneficial for the world economy as a whole also it is the basis of world economic organization and foreign policy of nations so uh, when we talk about foreign policy so whether or not a country wants to be in a trading relationship with another particular country uh, gets reflected in the foreign policy of nations so ek ek country ka ek desh ka foreign policy aisa hota hai ki wo uska jo international uh, uska jo trading relationship hai अलग अलग कंट्रीज के साथ दैट गेट्स रिफ्लेक्टेड वेदर और नॉट इट वॉन्ट्स टू यू नो हैव अव अ ट्रेड रिलेशनशिप विद दैट पर्टिकुलर कंट्री और वेदर वेदर इट वॉन्ट्स टू डिक्लाइन फ्रॉम हैविंग एनी ट्रेडिंग पार्टनरशिप विद द कंट्री गेट्स रिफ्लेक्टेड इन दी फॉरन पॉलिसी ऑफ नेशन एंड इट्स ऑल्सो द बेसिस ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो दी वर्ल्ड सो द इकोनॉमीज ऑफ दी वर्ल्ड आर ऑर्गेनाइज uh into a particular pattern because of international trade right so these are uh, basically the reasons why international trade exists international trade is something very very relevant something very very important in today's context because aaj ke time pe agar hum dekhenge to jo hamare uh, approximately 200 countries hai pure uh, world mein a majority of them are uh, you know open economies there we don't have a lot of closed economies in today's world we uh, even our country used to be a closed economy till a certain point of time even the united states of america uh, practiced this thing called isolationism in which it did not you know participate in uh, any sort of international trade and it did that because it wanted to uh, you know strengthen its the country's own industrial base and so did our country because our country wanted to uh, you know hamare jo jo ministers the hamare jo leaders the people in governance at that point of time wo chahte the ki hamare country ka jo hai industrial base pehle badhe and uh, you know so we did not want to uh, import goods from other countries right in the beginning we wanted our 
own industries to grow we wanted our own producing sectors to develop themselves and only then would they be uh, you know subjected to competition because international trade leads to competition because uh, if 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 now we allow Im imported goods to enter inside the domestic market of our country then that will mean competition for our domestic sellers and that is not something we can do unless we are absolutely sure or unless we have a sort of vague idea ki our domestic sellers will be able to compete with a uh, product of that quality right so so that's what that's what the basis